Whoever has the most bounties becomes the hot shot. Faster, stronger. Slightly What's up, everybody, average. and welcome back. We got our first round of X-Fine in quite some time here that we're posting for a full long length video. Had to take a little bit of a break, kind of reset and figure out what to do here. Um, biggest thing I've seen lately is it just the game seems to have been losing fun to a lot of people. I keep saying that it hasn't lost its joy to me, and that's the God's honest truth is it really has not lost any amount of fun to me. The only thing I do in this game that isn't really fun for me is the weapon grind. For me, that doesn't make the game fun. Completing all the weapons doesn't have any enjoyment or fulfillment for me. The only reason I really do it is so that way I can have those weapons for the specific instances where I need them and have the attachments unlocked for if they become fun later on after a weapon's balancing or something. That's really the only reason I don't try to do it for 100% completionist or anything because in a game like this, all I care about is the gameplay. I just want to go out and have fun playing games, shooting at people, blowing off some steam, having some fun with my friends when they hop on, stuff like that. They have another hot shot. So the weapon completions and camel grinds aren't really we a huge thing for me and for Get creating fun. So going through it is more of a frustrating thing for me. I haven't been able to use the ACR, MP7, Vector, or any of that in some time. By the time break into those in a little bit here um, probably in the next week or so I'll start being able to do more of that again but for the time right now it's been kind of loving what the LMGs and some of the other SMGs have finished off the ARs finally but we are having fun still in this game and I think the biggest problem for people is they're just hopping on bandwagons at this stage and what I mean by that is everybody's looking for a reason why they're not having fun and they're just kind of saying things and jumping on the same things over and over again. People are talking about the jump trafing being a problem, but that's an option in so many other games and has been. It's been around. It's not something new. This isn't the first game to do it. People hating on it and hating on movement in general is just a skill gap issue at the end of the day. I mean, I'm still not very good at all the air shaping and stuff, and I get blown out of the water by players by it all the time. And I also know how to use it to my advantage and be able to win some gunfights with it. So, just kind of got to work on closing that skill gap and getting better. Just concentrate on the actual game. Stop concentrating on the things that don't matter. Find out what makes it fun for you. And if this game really just doesn't have any quality that makes it fun for you, then so be it. Thanks for trying. Hope you find your game down the road. But don't hate on this game and try to detract others from playing it just because you don't like one particular aspect or because you can't figure out how to use that aspect to your advantage. For me, I suck at sniping. I can't snipe with the damn. I don't sit here and cry about people using snipers and say that it's illegal and they shouldn't be allowed to because if they're good at sniping and they want to do it, more power to them. There's an art to sniping and I don't have it. But I don't hate on the others for it. One of the things I enjoy most about this game is the movement because not every game has that fast paced feel to it. This has that fast paced feel. Call of Duty tends to have that fast paced feel feel but then they Not slow down for no reason in different line. maps and modes and there's so many people always finding corners to camp in this game like there's places to hide and hang out but there's so many access points to those places that it's hard to stay in camp in one area for an extended amount of time somebody at some point is going to flush you out and that's what makes the game so fun is you don't have to worry about some guy just sitting in one spot sniping you all day long or hitting you with the ACR or whatever the craziest new meta weapon is at the time. But that is the type of stuff that makes the game fun. When you can move and you can just keep trying to do different things and every game is just a little bit different. It's a little bit different of an experience. Call of Duty, you don't get that. If you go on to any given map on Call of Duty, you already know the three, four points you gotta aim at. You already know exactly where you need to be at all the time. This game, unless it's an objective mode like Domination or Occupy, you don't know where you're gonna be looking. There's always gonna be somebody around the corner that you don't expect. And that's something that brings a lot of fun into the game and brings that difference maker that people are missing. As far as the abilities, some of them are kind of cheesy, sure. 
why not? But every game now is pretty much having these abilities. Even when you look at the extraction shooters and other tactical shooters and more realistic ones, they still have some form of ability. They're just kind of cut down some. The idea is that every game is kind of going this way. So if the abilities and movements are what turns you off of this game, you're probably just going to need to find a different genre of game to play because there's not much left for you that you're just going to be able to sit still and aim at a not moving target like you do in Valorant or even CSGO. So you need to learn to adapt and change. And if you are not willing to, then go back to the old games and stop looking for the new shooter to play because you're not going to find it. Not anymore. Not unless you go out and create it yourself because everybody's going with this style. This is what's hot. This is what's popular. The people that want to play Battle Royale and say multiplayer is dead, you're not one. Multiplayer That's is dying. Maybe when it's this is over, bad, but it's true. So... I still enjoy it, there's still a huge amount of people that do, but it's not going to do very good in the streaming space, and it's not going to get you as many views on YouTube and whatnot, but this is still what I prefer over a Battle Royale, and then I prefer the Extraction Shooters over a Battle Royale as well. So that's just me, that's how I have fun. You guys need to go out and look at how to have fun on your own. If you made it this far, drop a like and subscribe, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take it easy, peace out.